haven't even dressed well. It is oh, 10 degrees. That's better than me. 50 degrees, it is cold. Well, you got a hoodie on. Uh-oh, camera's blinking out there. It's not a hoodie, it's a Oh my gosh, I cleaned up all the poop in here yesterday and there's like double the amount again. You guys are getting too much food. We need to cut back. A penny pickle. Hello, look at how they stand in a row. This one, and then the mini stands behind for safety. And then the Palomino stands the back there. Again. What? She's all dirty on the other side. Oh, I'll brush her. I'll brush her. Gabby's like, I, I will get me a blanket. <laughs> it's her brand new blanket. Hey, this one's very warm. Yeah, it's nice. I love me a blanket. We need to do a tack haul. But I guess. Do we need to have a horse's blanket, but we need to buy a blanket. Like we times. need to do a blanket haul. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. This dog can. St uh oh, I was about to break about you, and you got up. Better lay down quick. Lay down. I never come. So. Stay. Stay. You stay, stay there. All right, so Gabby taught this dog to stay, but when Gabby goes out of stay, sight, stay, stay. she kind of gets up. She's really good at staying, I think. I'm really good at freezing. It's too cold for this, too you know, early in the season no, for this. when my hands get really cold, they yeah. stop working. I know. You, you can bend them that much and that's it. Right now? No. Oh yeah, that happens to Did me you too. Turn on? No, I don't have the battery in here. Um, feel how cold my hand is. Things are about to get real. Of course it gets really cold on Sophie's birthday week. It's birthday week. It's birthday week. It's birthday week. Actually two more days to my birthday. Yeah, it's like your birthday is two more days. I guess it was birthday week a while ago. Penny, you need a brush. Oh, it's so warm in the sun. Now I get it. She's so hot. So today's lesson in Penny Land is that, oh, she's telling me you better let me go right now. She's so concerned, so confused. No, no, you can wait. Are you standing? Yeah, she's standing. So, so maybe this is what I need to do. I need to let the ponies go and make Penny wait until she's good. Hey, no, no, she's mad. She's mad because everybody, everybody's eating, but not Penny. I should have done this long ago, but I was just being kind all the time. Being kind, Penny. Kindness never gets you anywhere. Are you going to Timmy's? Uh, no, it's too far. Actually, no, it's not. Gas station. No. No Timmy's. Um, School. I either. School. <laughs> Gabby just climbed through the head. fence. My hip popped and it hurt. <laughs> oh. Gabby, is, even Gabby I'm... is 14 in an 80 year old body. All right, we're still waiting because Penny wants to be no, Gabby, I'm anxious her. when Tell her to give me it so we this way. Up and go up. The sun is in my eyes. You can wait. The sun is in all of our eyes. Okay. My eyes are more sensitive than yours, actually. Hey. For some weird reason. We're going to do this so I have her if she rips out the halter. Okay, can I do it now? Cause she's not doing it. Yeah, let so let Gabby have a try. I know, but let Gabby have a try. I just want to see what she does. Here, she doesn't even try with me. No. Good. No. There. We're done. <laughs> oh, she's mad. How do? make your horse mad so penny is a mare she's not used to being told what to do which is our problem and so i'm taking the penny by storm and making her behave all the time now but like a true typical girl we have like, three a, horses in here. like a true typical girl she will always have the last word every time i take every time we take the weekend off of doing stuff like just get stuff done at home and don't go out and get other stuff done then on Monday morning, I'm like, oh, Laura, why did you do that? I need to get the wormer. I need to get Sophia's birthday present. I need to call the vet. I need to call the farrier. I need, like, there's just so much. I need to make a list. <laughs> and we need to do school. And I need to clean up. It's a lot. Life is a lot. But when life is a lot, you just take a deep breath, let it go, and take one moment at a time, get it all done, be patient. Don't be like Penny. <laughs>
Um, okay, so we're headed out. Like usual, but I wanted to update you on two things. One thing is something I want to prove to you guys, hopefully. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. No! Oh <laughs> don't touch my back. And she's like, don't tickle me! No, you don't touch my back because my back does not like being touched. Okay, so, number one, Gabby's phone broke. So if you've been trying to contact Gabby, phone her, message her, and you're thinking she's ignoring you, she's not. Or she probably is. She's not a social kind of girl. But it's been working a little bit. Just one whole side is not. Yeah. So like, it. I so, did all this last year. So basically, where's the case for it? Oh, it's in the house. Why didn't you bring the case? The case makes it work less. Oh, okay. So, um, Sophie, Gabby ordered a new phone a couple of weeks ago. Her and her dad. Yeah, her dad ordered it for her. What one are you getting? Oh, uh, the 11, 12, no, the 12 Pro Max. Right, so she ordered it and it's on back order. So then she didn't get it, she didn't get it, she didn't get it. And then all of a sudden yesterday, her phone stopped working. And then, so her dad took her to a store to try and get it and they didn't have any at any store. So then he had to phone the company and be like, hey, is the phone coming? And they said, yeah, they were gonna send it out. It didn't look to be back ordered anymore. So. Hopefully she's gonna get a phone. So that's thing number one. Poor Gabby has not ever not had a phone since she was like two. She used to have an iPod, an iPod, now she has a phone. So number two is that you guys know, I don't know if you guys know because our videos have been kind of like confusing lately, but Chino lost his shoe a week after he got them on, which is so annoying. And so, we gotta find the shoe. Sam and Gabby went out to look for the shoe and spent like a long time out there looking for a shoe. And when I look for a shoe, how do you look for a shoe? You look on the ground and walk around to find a shoe. You just look on the ground and walk, but that's not how I find a shoe. So at camp, when we helped with camp in the summer, we helped with a kid's camp, it was so much fun. And there was a horse there and it lost a shoe. And the farrier just happened to be there right first thing in the morning. And the farrier said, if you could find the shoe for this horse, I'll tap it on really quick and then you guys can use them for camp. So we all went out. I took a bunch of kids, we went out into the field. I said, listen, it's just a big, big, huge rectangle. I said, listen, whoever finds this shoe, I'll give them a prize. I was gonna give them money. So we get out there and everybody's looking and everybody's looking, but I did my trick. What I do is I close my eyes and I say, God, show me where the shoe is. And then I, the very first reaction that I have, I follow it and, and the reaction I had was that I felt like I needed to turn left and go straight. And I was just walking, I turned left, took three steps and it was right there in the ground and I found it. So that process helps me so many times find things. So I tried to do it with Chino's shoe today. I said, God, where is Chino's shoe? And I felt like he was saying, back behind this way where I was sitting, that would mean it's over by the fence where he hangs out with all the other horses on the other side of the fence. So we're gonna go there today. I'm gonna find his shoe. I'm gonna amaze you with how good it works. And then I want you guys to send me messages on Instagram when you use your mind and God and signs and messages to find something that you've lost, okay? So let's go and I'll prove it to you. God, please don't make me look bad. All right. It is cold. And there are no horses. I wore the correct shoes today. Yeah, I wore the correct shoes, only Gabby. So, do you guys know where your horses are? You're coming with us, Mom. No, I'm going on a hunt. I'm going, all right, we're separating here, you guys. I, feel, I have to walk. Gabby's cracking herself up. I got boots on, so oh. just walking through it. Oh my God, this is the worst part. This is it though, like. Uh. All right, wish me luck. I'm going on a hunt. The girls are going on a hunt to find their, oh, it's slippery actually. The girls are going on a hunt to find their horses. And I am going on a hunt to find the shoe. Wish us luck. God, don't fail me now. The one time I need to, I need you to help me find the shoe. All right, I will be right back. All right, I didn't find it. 
but it's because I have to go back. Gabby said her horse is hurt. So, like this is just getting ridiculous. So frustrated. Anyway, let's go see what is wrong with Chino. I'm looking around as I walk and talk, see if I can find a shoe. We don't know what happened, she said. Front? Finn was mad at me. Finn was mad at you? Did God fail you? God did not fail me. I didn't have time. I'm worried about Chino. So it, the shoe wasn't in the spot that you saw it? I didn't get a chance to look. Non-believer. Gabby, when where he, are your jeans? He, I knew something was up when he... No. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's sore. On the, on the foot that he did not lose a shoe. What is wrong? Why? Why, dude? Why? It's not, it looked like he was hurting. Where were you just touching? I think it's right here. My foot is over there to be in his home. Finn let, lent Chino his warm blanket. Don't you have a warm blanket? It barely covers, just to not tell here. You, mm. it barely covers my butt. It just to tell you, what? Finn was not happy about it. Why? Because he pins his ears every time I walk by. Ow! That's my thumb. Right. I do not know what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna get him tested for Lyme disease, you guys. I told you guys how like, if something happens three times, I feel like it's a sign. And when I was riding at the Pasofino place, she said that her horse was recovering from Lyme disease. And I was like, oh, okay, well, what are the symptoms? And then she told me and I was like, mm, doesn't really sound like Chino, but I mean the lameness part could be. And then when the, when the chiropractor was here, she found a tick on Finn and I'm like, mm, is that number two? Like, is that a sign? And then when Brandon was here, I said, Brandon, do you think he could have Lyme disease? And Brandon said, yes, I was going to just say that to you. Maybe he has Lyme disease. Maybe we should check him for it. So now I'm going to check him for that. Three times, you guys, is a clue. What is wrong with you? We need to see if he's got an infection or a cut or something. If it's going to be long, we'll go home. And if it's not going to be long, we'll stay. Okay, I'm not sure. He just went to his next call, so I'm not sure if uh, really what how long that's going to take. All right, thank you so much. Okay. So Bye. Thank you. So the vet is coming and it's gonna check over Chino. Not like it. Anyway, you can barely wear, bear weight at all right now. So the rest of our afternoon is going to be here dealing with the vet. That's so why we get ponies with good feet, strong backs. He got mad because it took him away from both of his friends. Who were his friends? Um, Sky and someone else. Ah, our horses be loving the gentle horses. There's a new horse out there. Yeah, there's. He's a, a big bay. He's so cute. Aw, wow. I want him. What? You almost ran somebody over? What? What? Please pull somebody over. Please pull somebody over right outside here. Yeah, right there. Oh. Yeah, please pull somebody over. Yeah, we think he needs like a small field because this guy just has too much room. Like Storm likes a big he field. Also, like running around though. He doesn't run around for fun. But horses push him off. He's in so much pain. It's so hard to see your horse hurting. It is, you guys. Like, so hard. He's gonna have to stay inside now. The install rest again. Anyway, it is what it is. He's sore. All we can do is call the vet and get an X-ray and see what's wrong with him, and then go from there. So uh, Chino's cold. Like he's shaking. So maybe it's an infection because that's sometimes what happens. But I have an important question. Something I really need to know. Is this Chino's blanket? Did we buy this blanket at the at the end of last year? I feel in my heart it's Chino's blanket. I don't know. It's an 84. Gabby! <laughs> Laura doesn't know. I need you to tell me if this is uh, Chino's blanket. Do you put him in a stall? Or? Yeah, put him in a stall. Listen. So, I mean, maybe he has an abscess. He's got a cut on that leg. He doesn't have an abscess when the farrier was here. He's got a shoe and a... shoes on and pads on. It doesn't matter. It can happen. Come on. Mom, go behind Chino. He's coming. Reserve jumper champion. Hey, that's my blanket. He's like an old man moving. I know. It's, he might have a fever, Sophie. Because he's shaking and cold. Yeah, but you can't 
say that. Oh. Since the champion here. Oh yeah, since the champion here. So uh, this week I have to go shopping and get blankets for. That's not ours. That's not ours. I need blankets for storm and I need a rain sheet, like an insulated rain sheet for Chino because we use those until it gets cold. Whose is this? That looks, that looks like ours. I don't even know what blankets we own. We should have taken them home. My heart says that these three blankets are ours. This one, this one, and that one, and possibly this one. Scared of it because you're showing more of the white on your eyes. Okay, this is my psychotic. mare stare. When my kid That's talks. That's more psychotic look. Is that when your mare stare? Of your, this is Sophie's mare stare. It eyes. looks like a cry stare. Are you gonna cry? No. <laughs> Show me your mare stare, Gabby. Um, I don't know. You have to get mad. Well, Mare's when I'm mad, you can't tell. I can tell because your words. I just get silent. Your words. I just get silent. Okay, do a mare stare because I'm going to do a mare stare. That's it. Let me see yours. Um, quick, 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 quick. My battery's dying. Yeah, yeah I don't know. That, I that's, good. that's good. Mine is this. No, I just relax my eyes. More. Yeah, I kind of look constipated. Okay. <laughs> I do that. Find me our blankets. That's a military thing. Isn't that ours? I think so. Isn't ours torn up though? You gotta check the size. Oh yeah. That's, That's ours. I remember we had one of these. It was an 84, I believe. That's an 84. This? Yeah, I think that's Chino's. We just bought it for him at the end of the year. Yeah, we put the plum one over top. What size is it? It's an 84. I just looked. It's an 84. You checked? Yeah. Do you not believe me or what? No, I don't. Well, you just picked up the tag. The tag didn't say anything on it. Yes, it did. Yes, mom, you're right. Made in India. 84. So Hell. that's that's Chino's. Hell. Okay, hang that up in the last hook. Hell. Okay. What the heck? Hell 12,000. Okay, so that's Chino's. This one's thin. That's thins. Right. And the other one is thins. It doesn't say. So we need two insulated rain sheets. Oh, yeah, so I still need two. Okay, put it over there. And this one. That says thin. Get a marker. When we first moved here, I put all their names on all their blankets and then all those blankets died. Long ago I had a dream and it was Gabby. And she was riding a horse. Wow, it's working. She was riding a horse and everything was fine. I, but then. something in my riding that you like. Who would you change? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. So long ago, <laughs> I had a dream that Gabby was gonna get a horse, but that it was the next horse that was gonna take Gabby where she needed to go, the next horse, and it's a gray. I think it's a gray. Yeah. So anyways, when we bought Chino, I was like, ah, oh, should we buy him? Cause it's the next horse. <laughs> like there's just so many things. Anyways, I think Gabby needs a new horse. Gabby, you need a new horse. You need to figure out what's wrong with this horse. Look at this. Okay. Not that I believe you should just replace any horse that doesn't work. I'm saying that I don't think Chino physically can keep up with what Gabby wants, even though we don't even get a chance to try because his body is so... <sighs> Anyways, look at this. Do you see this? Do you guys want to know what we changed? 2.5 years to figure out what Finn needed to slow down. Well, now you can loosen your reins. What, do you, what is it, you guys? To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty? There's a problem. There is a problem. You guys, <laughs> there's a problem. Here's the problem. 
We raced them home. We were speeding. We left before them, like long before them, and we sped all the way home faster than a speeding bullet, and they still beat us, and they didn't pass us. So I'm telling you now, so they did bad things. Them in front of us. No, they couldn't have gone in front of us. How could they get in front of us? I think they went the shorter way. It, anyway, that, I told you to go fast and speed home. I did. So I went 120, in. and they got there before us. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Uh, pray, uh, Chino just has a. Chino just has. Uh, an abscess, a big giant one on the top of his foot. It's gonna blow up, and um, he had shoes on. We didn't know. We we never had an abscess before. Like I know what abscesses are. I know how to look for them, but we had no idea that he had an abscess because we thought it could be an abscess. But who knows? Anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?